this team is not 100%, but if it's not for you, then it's not for you. It functions, it gets it done. I have been getting questions asking about an Iron Twins 15 team that is unkillable, that does not have Emic, and here it is. This is the team here. Geomancer, one man eater, and three pain keepers. I know what some of you guys might be thinking, especially if you're newer. Oh, I don't have even one pain keeper. I, I do what I can, okay? I'm not a magician. <laughs> You feel me? But yeah, I was in the middle of um, editing my, my Final Fantasy video for my other channel, by the way. If you want to see me play something else other than Raid, Mr. Burrito plays other video games. This is the same Geomancer from my original Iron Twins comp. This is the same Maneater that I use in my unkillable clan boss team for Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare, and Brutal. And this is the same Painkeeper that I use in said clan boss team and these are also the same pain keepers that i used in the other dungeons i actually did not change anything i did not go with the recommended speeds um, that a lot of these other comps are suggesting and before i, I continue i, I want to let you guys know where i got this from so originally my comments were asking about teams for iron twins 15 that did not require emic and so i went to youtube and i looked up teams for iron twins 15 and soda dragon gaming popped up unfortunately he doesn't do content anymore i i really liked his content he was a really cool guy to follow now before we go into the run i wanted to um, share with you guys the presets so let's go ahead stage 15 right now we're on force affinity i don't know if this is friendly to all affinities i don't know what the extent of this is this is just what I've found, and um, I wanted to share it with you guys so that those of you who are asking can be made aware of this. But feel free to experiment and tweak it, and if there's any issues, let me know. Maybe we could talk back and forth about it. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm just a guy behind the camera, a simple raider such as yourself. I literally do uh, what everybody else is doing, except I'm just sharing it. I, I literally just go to YouTube and look up these comps, and then I just share it, explain it myself. But here are the presets. So Geomancer, he's, well, first let me talk about his accuracy. So his accuracy is low. For the Iron Twins, you are going to want to have a minimum of 555 accuracy to consistently place the HP burns. So with that in mind, remember to build with more accuracy. We're gonna close out the A2 only using his quicksand grasp. Man Eater is going to close out the A2, only using his ancient blood. The first pain keeper, which is your fastest pain keeper, which is the same pain keeper that I use in clan boss, she's going to prioritize the A3, but then the opening, the starter, will be on her A2, and this is also going to be second priority. It's going to be the same exact thing for your second fastest pain keeper so priority a3 a2 is going to be second priority but you're opening with the a2 as well and the third pain keeper is going to be priority for the a3 then a2 is going to be priority number two this is the slowest pain keeper so again 250 to uh, 247 and then 215 there are different speeds i would suggest maybe uh, adjusting them to however you want to experiment i highly encourage that i do know that you want to be going slightly faster than the iron twins who is going at 250 speed the other thing to note is you do need books so make sure you are fully booking out your champions especially the combat tactics make sure that's all fully booked out and there you go. I'll show you the builds after this in case you do want to see. But let's go ahead and do the run. Again, starting out with the A3. And then Geomancer will place the HP burns. And anytime that the Iron Twins does any damage, the damage is going to be reflected. Now the Pain Keepers are going to consistently reset each other's school... Um, not school. Cooldowns. And I think it's necessary to have three pain keepers here. I don't know what would happen if you were to take out one pain keeper, but I'm pretty sure you could substitute uh, with some other cooldown champion, but I'm not exactly sure. 
I'm, I'm not a guru, like I've said. I just look up these comps and share it amongst you. And this entire thing just repeats itself over and over again until he is finally dead. I do think that you could use another champion other than Geomancer, but again, I don't know what the extent of this build is. I don't know how long this will last because in my experience with a lot of unkillable teams, there is a point that uh, something happens and uh, something could go wrong, but I'm not exactly sure. Again, I don't know if this is 100%. Uh, this is my first... Okay, so obviously, that Painkeeper just died. That's the level 40 Painkeeper? Okay, let's see. Let's check the level 40 Painkeeper. So my level 40 Painkeeper died first. Too slow? What do you guys think? Too slow or too fast? 215? I guess the shield would be the easiest thing to, to take out and switch. Let's make her faster. So uh, let's, let's get something in speed. How fast do we want her? We still needed her. We still need her to be the slowest. The second fastest is going at 247. We can go a little bit slower than that. A little bit faster. Let's try 222. Will 222 work? Let's see. Let's try 222 speed. Okay, same comp. Let's go ahead and run it and see if she still dies at the very end. So. It did succeed because Geomancer did kill fast enough. So I guess that kind of answers my question as to whether or not um, you could use somebody else. I, I guess if you had somebody else who could kill fast enough, then you wouldn't really have to care or worry about it. But for security's sake and um, posterity, I, I want to try and provide something more concrete. And let's see if this fails, or if that painkeeper dies. I guess I should have been paying attention to the this level 40 painkeeper's turn meter. I'm trying to see what's going on here. Because it looks like if, if Geo doesn't kill fast enough, then the entire thing could go wrong. And that's a waste of energy. We want something a little more consistent. Okay, resetting, reset, reset, goes up. Okay. Oh, and sorry, I don't have the lights on in the back, guys. I, um, again, it's like one o'clock in the morning, just waiting for my Final Fantasy video to upload. Okay, so it died. What's going on here? The Iron Twins will actually begin to ignore unkillable buffs whenever the iron twins hp is equal to or less than 40 percent this unkillable will fall off once he reaches a certain threshold so i have to let you guys know this team is not 100 percent you are more than likely going to throw away some energy but if you don't really care about energy or if you just really want to get to this point i'm just giving you guys full context that this does work but it's not going to be 100%, especially with this Geo not having enough accuracy. But let's go ahead and run it. Okay, so he starts off. The Maneater is going to place his unkillable. Geomancer places his HP burn. And anytime the Iron Twins attacks, then he is going to reflect the damage. Or Geomancer is going to reflect the damage back to the Iron Twins. So for now, this is all in two. The pain keepers are going to constantly reset everybody else's skills and Maneater is going to keep his unkillable off. But let's go ahead and see if around, this looks like what, 40, this is like the halfway point is 50, so somewhere around here, his unkillable, or he's going to start ignoring unkillable and so we'll see what that's like. Making sure that Okay, so we're approaching halfway through. Uh, this would have been a little bit faster if Geomancer had more um, accuracy, because I, I think I was getting resisted at, uh, on some of these points. But the turn meters look all right. The rotation's looking good. Place the HP burns. The unkillable staying up. We're approaching the midway point here.
Okay, so this is this is just about like half, right? Right here. And we'll start paying attention to see if that's actually a thing if we'll start ignoring unkillable. So everybody's got their unkillable up. All around. And it looks like Maneater is gonna place a fresh one. Okay. Okay, so right there. You saw that? Did you guys see that? It said ignore unkillable. But Geomancer still did it. I don't know why when I run my regular, and I'll run this real quick just so you guys can see. I don't know why when I run this team, it, it doesn't seem to matter if he, again, I need more accuracy. If he doesn't have, um, or what do you call it? This, this team is 100% here. This one works completely fine. There's no issues or gripes about being at 40% and him ignoring unkillable. I think it has to do with Emic, maybe? I don't know. Emic with the taunt. Because what does taunt do? Does taunt make it so that he can't use anything except for... No, because taunt, you can use any move. You just have to target Emic. Because he's got the taunt buff up. So now we're just about at 40%. And everybody's still alive. This team works on all affinities. Yeah, so no issues there. I don't know why, like, because because he was obviously under 40%. Are, are there any experts out there who do know why the Bronco team works for Iron Twins, but this Soda Dragon triple pain keeper team doesn't work but when i run this team without emic let me see what the buff taunt does let's run this again while i look at this up on the on my other monitor taunt buff is a buff that forces your opponent to attack the champion wearing taunt unique rule uh unique rules you need to be aware of if there are multiple taunts on your team uh with taunt Keep this buff to a minimum if an opponent is provoked by another okay so that has nothing to do with anything uh cannot be spread stolen or... yeah so there's nothing in there that i think would stop him from killing emmy or that team but for some reason that team just works 100 percent on all affinities but this one i'm seeing this pain keeper died And the rules on his A1 state that he's going to kill through the unkill. He's going to ignore unkillable. So let's see if, if we do it again. There, so that, now he's dead. Reflecting. Oof. And so now everybody's dead, but we still won. But it's so it's so iffy. You know what I mean? Like it's it's definitely not a hundred percent, but it still succeeds. So, you know, I'm not going to market this to you guys as a one hundred percent team, but I will market to you as a team that is functionable. Like it's not a hundred percent, but if you're really desperate to get these souls and you don't have an emic to make the original comp work then you could put this team together uh, again i'm just sharing with you but i'm also providing full context that uh it, it's not 100 percent let me show you guys the builds real quick so geomancer he's in no particular set this gear is not even rolled up proper let me show you guys the pieces of gear in case you want to see it again you're going to want to put more accuracy on him but he's going at 254 speed, 500 accuracy. You want 555 to be um, 
more consistent. And I think if you were going to try to build this triple pain keeper man eater geo team, I would think that if you have HP burns up all the time, that it could be a lot more consistent because as you guys saw, Geo was getting resisted a few times. It was taking longer to kill, so maybe that kind of drew it out too far. Fully booked, remember you guys have to have it fully booked. I need to change this because Heaven Cast isn't going to work the same on Geo anymore. Here are the masteries. As always, don't blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and blindly copy these masteries. Let's talk about Man Eater. This is the Man Eater on my Ultra Nightmare clan boss team 265 speed and that's all that matters you just want him to go first and fast the minimum speed you would have to go i think is like 251 because the iron twins is going at 250 pieces of gear in case you guys do want to see it just tab through it real quick but again the only thing that matters is speed and here are the masteries these are the clan boss masteries go and now we just have pain keepers. Maybe on the other team, my original team, it, he just kill, he gets killed so fast because there's a cold heart. Pain keeper I use on my clan boss team, 250 speed. That's all that matters. Other than that, you want to make sure she's fully booked. And then here are the pieces of gear, in case you want to see. Because I I usually get asked what are the pieces of gear. And of course, masteries. These two pain keepers do not have masteries. In fact, they don't even need to be they don't even need to be leveled up. The only reason I leveled up this pain keeper uh, was because it was an accident. But you don't have to. All that matters is that they're fully booked. Their A3 is need to be fully booked. Pieces of gear, uh, I don't think I need to bother showing you. All showing you all that matters is their speed. This is, let me show you this one first. This is my second fastest pain keeper. All that matters is speed. And this is my slowest pain keeper right here, 235. I normally only spend gems to get new keys on void day, just because there's a higher chance of getting the soul stones. Oh, while I was there, I should have upped Geomancer's accuracy. I should have rebuilt him during the free regear event. All right, let's see it if uh, this will fail or succeed. So he hasn't missed an HP burn yet. But we'll see. All right, he got it again. At first, um, I was initially thinking just now that the Iron Brands had something to do with it. But no, it's uh, it's just his natural ignore unkillable thing. Alright, so just about there. He should start ignoring unkillable anytime soon now. HP burns are going up getting reflected. It's consistent, the HP burn so far. All right, goes up and okay, so that that's what I'm confused about. Like he kills just that one pain keeper, but he doesn't kill everybody else. Not that I'm complaining, but you know what I mean? Oof. And there it is. Again, it functions. It gets it done. But if you guys want to see how I built this team up here, completely unkillable, 100% actually doesn't fail for all affinities, go ahead and click this video right here.